be doing a travel with me video and I'm just going to be showing you guys some makeup that works really nice for traveling and how to multi-purpose some of your everyday products so that you can use them for more than one purpose so it saves space on packing and I'm also going to be including my outfit for traveling it's comfortable cute and casual and I'll be showing that after I do my makeup so if you'd like to see how I got this makeup look and my outfit then just keep on watching to start off the makeup look I'm gonna prime my face and I'm gonna be using the Mac prep and prime skin and since it comes in a really really big bottle I just went to Mac and I asked them if I could have a little sample of it because I'm going on vacation and it makes my life a lot easier because it takes up a lot less space in my bag than the actual one because it's like this huge bottle so that's another tip when you're traveling is to go to Mac or Sephora and you can ask for their little sample size containers and you can put some of your makeup in those I'm just going to dot that on my face and I'm gonna use my fingers to rub it in Now I'm going to be going on to foundation and I'm going to be using my Nourish Your Glow foundation and I'm just going to dot that all over my face. Now that I have applied that all over my face, I'm going to be using my Sigma Flat Kabuki brush to buff all of that in. Now that I've applied all of my foundation, I'm going to move on to concealer and I'm going to be using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm just going to apply, squirt a little bit of that onto the back of my hand and then I'm going to apply some of that onto my dark circle. So around my nose because I have some redness there on a couple blemishes. To blend my concealer, I'm going to be using my Real Technique setting brush because I like the fluffiness of it. I think it works as a really great concealer brush. I'm just going to go in circular motions and blend that into my foundation. And now I'm going to set all of my foundation and concealer using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And I'm going to start off by using my Real Technique setting brush once again to set underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to use my Real Techniques powder brush to powder the rest of my face. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows really quick. I'm gonna take my eyebrow powder. It's actually an eyeshadow. It's just a really, really natural tan color. And I'm gonna be using an angled eyeshadow brush to just lightly fill in my eyebrows. Once I filled in my brows, I just kind of brush through them once again, just so that all of the hairs are going in the right direction or one direction. Next, on to contouring. I'm going to be using my Hula Bronzer by Benefit on my Sigma Small Contour FO5 brush and I'm just going to lightly swirl some of that in there and apply it to my cheekbones, my temples, and I'm also going to go down the sides of my nose. And next, onto the eyes, I'm going to be starting off with my Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I just use my finger to apply that. I feel like it works the best just to blend the product in. For the eyeshadow, I'm going to be starting off with my MAC eyeshadow in the color Naked Lunch. And it's just a really pretty pinkish, champagne-ish color. And I'm just going to apply that to the base of my eyelid. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing for the eyes. Now I'm going to go back with the color that I used for my eyebrows, which is just a really, really neutral tan color. I'm going to be using my Sigma Tapered Blending E35 brush. As you can see, that just gave my eyelids a little bit more definition without adding much color. And using that same blending brush, I'm going to take my Hula Bronzer and I'm just going to warm up the eyes a little bit with that and make them a little bit darker. Now that I've applied all of my eyeshadow, I'm just going to go back and highlight my brow bone and also my face. I'm going to be using my MAC Kelly Osborne Bronzer and Highlight Duo and obviously I'm going to be using the highlighter in. I'm going to be using my Sigma Blending E25 brush and then I'm going to go back and use my Real Technique setting brush to highlight the high points of my cheekbones, my nose, and my cupid's bow. Now back to the eyes, I'm going to do my eyeliner really quick. And if you're familiar with me and my channel, then you would know that I absolutely love winged eyeliner. It's my favorite. I wear it every single day. I just think it adds so much to an eye look. I'm going to be using my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. It's only a dollar. Now that I've done my eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and move on to eyelashes. And I'm going to be starting off by curling my eyelashes. Now for mascara, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara. Now that my eyes are done, I'm going to go ahead and do my blush, and I'm going to be using the MAC Learn to Love 
mineralized blush and it is from the holiday collection so it is no longer available but it's just a really really pretty natural coral color I'm gonna be using an ankle blush brush from Sephora to apply that Now onto my lips. Since the rest of the face is all really, really natural, I think I'm going to go with a bold color. If you want to keep the makeup natural, you can use a more nude color, but I'm going to be using my MAC Mineralized Lipstick in Bold Spring, and it's just this really pinkish, purplish color. I think I am going to go ahead and spice it up a little bit and add a pop of color. So I'm just going to apply that to my lips. So that is the makeup. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the outfit. And for my outfit, my shirt is from Brandy Melville, my pants are from American Eagle, and my shoes are low top white converse from Kohl's. My necklace is a silver feather from Forever 21, and my sunglasses are also from American Eagle. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye!